This is Paul, Department of Fish and Game. <laughs> oh, this is somebody that I really wanted to know. Could you give me all the ploys of Fish and Game? <laughs> now, <laughs> I thought that I would use a garbage dump <laughs> as freshwater fish ponds. <laughs> you think it's not possible, but it is. <laughs> You know, the only problem with removing garbage once it's in a garbage dump yeah, is gravity. It's possible to... No, it is. Gravity is the problem with removing it. <laughs> it gravity holds it down. Yes. <laughs> but if you use gravity to remove it, you can make a tunnel underneath the garbage dump. Yes. And you can claw at that <laughs> so that the garbage falls into it. Yes. And it can be removed so that you can put... Uh, no, I bought 20 full garbage dumps throughout the United States, and I'm going to own all of them when I get done, <laughs> because I will turn all the garbage dumps into freshwater fish ponds <laughs> for the fish that will be sold to those that are citizens that want to eat fish. <laughs> now, you think the fish are going to be upset that the former residence was a garbage dump? <laughs> See, when you have the amount of water that I have, yes, I can line, yes, what could be two to three miles, yes, of actual garbage dump that was full of garbage. I can I can tunnel underneath it. I can remove it. I can incinerate it. I can autoclave it. Yes. Or I can put it in a truck and steam it. Yes. So that it combustions into something useful. Now I'm gonna wind up fish. <laughs>